In chapter 16 of Brave New World, John, Bernard, and Helmholtz face the consequences of their actions during the Soma riot as they are brought before world controller Mustafa Mond for judgment. The chapter serves as a critical moment in the novel, unfolding deep discussions on the concepts of freedom, happiness, and social control. The meeting initiates with Mustafa Mond acknowledging the reasons behind the trio's dissatisfaction with society. He confirms that their recent behaviors, including their involvement in the riot, have necessitated a form of punishment. Consequently, Bernard and Helmholtz are sentenced to exile in the Falkland Islands, a decision that elicits contrasting reactions from them. Bernard is overtaken by panic and fear about his future, showcasing his inability to stand by his earlier rebelliousness when faced with severe consequences. Meanwhile, Helmholtz, whose disillusionment with the conformity of their society has steadily grown, perceives this banishment as an opportunity to explore a life of greater intellectual freedom and individuality, far from the enforced homogeneity of the world state. The core of the chapter unfolds through a series of profound dialogues between Mond, John, and Helmholtz, wherein Mond elaborates on the foundational principles of their society. He justifies the prioritization of happiness and stability over truth, freedom, and individuality, arguing that such sacrifices are essential for the maintenance of societal order and the prevention of chaos. Munn confesses his own early inclinations towards scientific exploration and intellectual curiosity, which he had to abandon to uphold his role in perpetuating the societal norms. His candid admission reveals the personal cost of conformity even among the highest ranks of their society. Mun's defense of the social structure is unyielding, particularly when confronted with John's arguments for individuality and the value of experiencing a full spectrum of human emotions, including suffering. The controller refutes the viability of a society comprised solely of alphas, emphasizing the necessity of each caste for the smooth operation of society akin to an iceberg where the majority remains unseen, but essential. Unique among the discussions is the acknowledgement of literary and artistic merit, specifically Shakespeare, which both John and Mond appreciate. However, Mond argues against the societal utility of such works, citing their potential to instigate discontent and destabilize the uniform happiness ensured by the suppression of profound art and literature. Throughout these exchanges, the differing responses of Bernard, Helmholtz, and John to Mann's justifications are highlighted. Bernard's breakdown underscores his ultimate inability to confront the system head-on, while Helmholtz's composed acceptance reflects his readiness for a life beyond societal norms. John's engagement with Mond signals a complex intellectual confrontation, where understanding meets unbridgeable disagreement on fundamental values. Chapter 16 thus encapsulates the ideological battles at the heart of Brave New World, presenting a detailed analysis of the characters' individual philosophies against the backdrop of an unyieldingly conformist society. The chapter leaves readers to ponder the nature of happiness and freedom and the possible sacrifices required for societal stability. And as always, if you like this bookly crash course video, make sure to smash that like button and leave a comment down below.